was goo y'all welcome back to the lab with another quest build I've got a blueprint in this video for a hatch that you probably have not seen in the city thus far on NBA 2k23 I wanted to get in the builder and cook up something super rare a lot of the names have been found thus far but this thing right here is very specific in order to get this name it's a bigger girthier wing type scorer that has some really special abilities with shades of big dog Glenn Robinson Big Game James Worthy and Jamal the Monster Mashburn. This is the two way mid range creator. Eww! Super rare to get that creator name on the end of this archetype, and it is very specific. So, again, follow along to a T and then tinker in your own builder at your discretion. But we're going to make this a small forward. You're going to be six foot nine. 241 girthy pounds with a seven foot four wingspan and you know we're going body shape built because we want that super monster hitbox y'all can be peanuts and cellar sticks if you want but you know me i'm always going to build want to look menacing on the wood close shot we're going to get this to a 76 driving layup we're going to get this to a 74 driving dunk we're going to get this to an 81 Standing dunk, we're going to get this to a 75, and then post control, we're going to get this to a 78. That's going to give us that gold drop stepper, but the badge thresh is at 76, so if you want to ooze out some potential elsewhere, you know, by all means, it's your build, you can do whatever you want. But we're going to get that 78 because we want that gold drop stepper, and we want to be able to dominate mice in the house uh, when you do get matched up with some peanuts on this build. And finishing wise, a lot of this is badge thresh and name thresh. If you go higher than an 82, um, then it's going to change the name. And so we want um, a good prowess finishing down low. You are a girthy mother truck. And so you're going to be able to driving dunk. You're going to be standing dunk. You got the inside out post game, but uh, can also slash and uh, take advantage of smaller peanuts. 21 finishing badges is, uh, you know, more than enough to be a nice uh, wing slasher. Shooting, this is where this build really shines. We're going to get the midi to an 86 that's going to give us that hall of fame guard up and then your three ball get to a 78 don't go higher than that it's going to change the name because that's the thresh for the mid-range name and then free throw we're going to get this to a 76 you can allocate this elsewhere if you play park or city or whatever you don't have to invest in free throw but for those of you who do get on the wood you don't want to be a liability when people are take fouling and you know late game situations you want to be able to go down there and, and knock a free throw down in clutch situations it's going to give you 22 shooting badges the mid-range shot on this build obviously it's in the name um is going to be very delish um you're going to be able to basically pull up from anywhere and if you can really time that mini magician um, this is going to be a great build um, inside the arc, but you can step out and hit that 78 three ball. You can be a cone in certain situations, so it's not like, you know, we're punting three. Some midi builds, like my diming midi spesh, we did punt three ball, but this is going to be a wing type all around player. Playmaking, you're going to get your pass accuracy to a 78. We're not going to go higher than that. We're going to get our ball handle to an 82, and then speed with ball, we're going to get that to 71 that's the badge stretch you can have 19 playmaking badges again you can uh, allocate these wherever you want but we're not punting anything you have nice speed with ball good handle um, I'm seeing a lot of perimeter locks uh, people are making those builds with 90 plus steals and those builds can truly pluck you so you got to be careful 82 handle you know we'll, we'll combat that and it's not like you're just gonna get just cookied every time you touch the pill and then 78 packs actually want, we want a little bit of nice speed on our dishes um, you know, you're a little bit of a dishwasher on this build. And so 78 is a nice uh, thresh number to be able to make passes around the horn. You don't have any liabilities on this build. And then defensively, we're going to actually go to our perimeter defense and steelies first because we're going to get these to an 86 apiece. And max out our perimeter D and get our steelies all the way up to an 86 as well. That's the two-way name thresh in 2K23. Um, and then we're going to add one to our interior defense. That's another badge thresh gonna get our block to a 73 that's more than enough if you're you know, capable with timing weak side help and transition chase downs you're gonna get that on silver and then we're gonna get our defensive rebounds to a 57 it's gonna be another badge thresh and you're gonna have 17 defensive badges this is a perimeter defender through and through you're gonna have nice steelies nice clamps on the outside 
with gold clamps badge um, and gold pick dodger. Not necessarily going to be a rebounder on this build, but you want to stay out on those shooters in the wreck. Let your big dogs eat down low. Let them box out. And if you don't get rebounds, then it's on them. It's not on you. Don't be creeping down. Don't be leaking. We want to stay nice and grounded, disciplined defensively. So when a shot goes up, go find your man, get an ass on him. You know what I mean? Box him out. Be that menace off ball. Let coaches, you know, would be a coach's dream. And just do the right thing for your team. Let's, let's start preaching and practicing good basketball habits. This might be the old head in me. But, you know, a build like this, if you can't offense rebound, don't crash the offensive glass. Get back and help out the leakies. You know what I mean? If you have a 57 defense rebound, you're not out rebounding anyone um, who has an 80 or 80 plus or higher. So do your job. This is a great build that can do its job. And some of the names I mentioned earlier really know how to play within themselves. And someone who's nice behind the sticks could really eat on a build like this, even though it's not necessarily elite in one area, but you could look back on the mid-range of 86 and the perimeter D. Those are the areas that you're eating on on this build. I'm going on a little bit of a rant here, but let's know our role, know what your build does properly, and then execute within the confines of that build. Thank you for joining my Quest Sparrow TED Talk. All right, physicals, we're gonna get our speed to a 77, acceleration, max that out to a 73. Get your strength maxed out to a 95. We are bruising everybody who steps in our path. Do you hear me? You got that? Don't be disrespecting us on this build. We are dominating anything that walks in front of our path. In vertical, we're going to get this to a 75 as well, and then put the rest on your stamina. Let's give this a quick little once-over. I know I've done a lot of ranting and talking throughout the video, but, you know, I'm hyped up because this build has been rarely seen. This is a, a deep-sea demon through and through. What you could change on this build if um, you're really looking to kind of allocate a little bit more potential. Um, you could minimize strength, maximize speed, and acceleration and vert. Um, but a lot of these are name threshes. If you go higher on the rebound, if I do declare, it changes the name to a shooter. It's weird. We want that creator name. It's super rare. So you do, quote unquote, have to punt rebound to a certain extent because you can't go super high or it changes the name. Um, but you can max out your block um, and certain other things if you want to drop the strength down a little bit. Um, and you don't need that Hall of Fame bully or Hall of Fame brick wall. But again, we're going to do our job on this build. The names I mentioned, Glenn Robinson, James Worthy, Jamal Mashburn, they were key cogs in winning programs. And they knew what they did and they did it to the best of their ability. So this build right here, through and through, could be an absolute hoss in your lineup. Let's go to takeovers, shot creator, shooter, perimeter D, and post scoring. We're going to go advanced post moves because I just love that takeover. And we're going to go enhanced jump shot contest because I also love that takeover as well. All right, you're gonna get the super rare name. I've only seen one, I think, video on this, but you know, I had this in the chamber for an absolute minute. You're gonna get the two-way mid-range creator. Yeah! One of my favorite names in all of 2K23 thus far. If I didn't have my balanced offensive guard build already invested in, I probably would definitely be on this build. It's an absolute monstrosity in the right hands. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Um, you know, are we going a little bit ham on the strength? Are you guys minimizing that and still maximizing speed and acceleration? Um, what do you guys think of this name? Is it uber rare? Um, and uh, you know, let's let's get back to playing some good homegrown golden era NBA basketball. You know what time it is, Quest Sparrow.